After working through shutdowns and restrictions, restaurants dealing with another problem, staffing shortages. Kate Houston went to Lotus of Siam, which is having to close another location due to what is an ongoing issue. Guests that walk up to Lotus of Siam on Sahara will be greeted by this temporary closure sign. Management says they're now looking to fill nearly every position. That was the hardest decision we had to make. Courtney Barnett helps manage Lotus of Siam and its small staff. It was manageable with 25%, manageable with 50 and then um, just the succession of going to full open capacity has been harder. Barnett says this staffing shortage is not for a lack of trying. Open interviews have been held three days a week with jobs posted online. People did reply and say they were interested, but nobody showed up. Barnett says local restaurants are competing in a wage war with the strip. It's hard to compete with the strip prices. Um, and so we're all just trying to put our heads down and get as much work done as we can, but it's been really hard to find people to help out. Lotus of Siam is not alone. I've never seen anything like this. Mark Steele with the Restaurant Hospitality Institute is now partnering with nonprofits to fast track training. I have my phone ringing off the hook like crazy, people looking for qualified candidates. Steele is hosting job fairs to connect trainees with restaurants. Some are starting the very same day. Steele says this won't be an overnight fix, but can help take the pressure off of local businesses. I don't think that their end in sight is very, uh, very near, sadly, but we're just hoping to bridge the gap uh, with these nonprofits and anyone who wants to work. Kate Houston, 8 News Now.